Hallo, Katrin hier with European Paper Crafts in the US. Welcome to my channel and thank you for stopping by. Today is the second part of my Valentine's Day cards that I have created with scraps or mostly with scraps. So let's get started. I have a die and this die cuts out a panel with all these little hearts. And this die is from a company uh, in Canada and um, I think it's called Katya Studio and I will link it below if you are interested in. Um, I used it for my scraps. So what you can see here, this die cuts out this beautiful panel, but then in top of it, it also cuts out little hearts. Now I let the hearts stay out and then uh, what I used is I used the die again to cut out little hearts from all my different uh, scraps that I had. So now I have, I, I did a uh, die cut twice. I die cut this beautiful piece. Okay, you can see it. This is again this uh, metallic paper from Michaels in pink or in this beautiful, yeah, pink. Um, and then I used it again and for the second time, I just laid, laid behind those little heart dies all different papers. So now I have this beautiful panel and then I popped up my hearts with just a little foam dot. And then I arranged it and also added one of the doodads. I love those. And I still have them in my store. They were sold out twice, but I have them back. These are those beautiful, and look how blingy they are, doodads. And they come in different colors. I will link them below. They are not adhesive. You do have to add a drop of liquid adhesive. But aren't they blingy? This is my favorite bling. And I prefer it over um, rhinestones. Anyway, I added a Happy Valentine's Day, which comes from these sticker sheets that I also have in my shop in silver and in gold in two different fonts, and they are available. So, what you can see here is I used, like I said, this pink, um, this pink cardstock. Now, of course, I had all kinds of pink hearts coming out of this. And here are some of those pink hearts. And then I also cut it out with gold cardstock, also from Michaels. And then, of course, I had all these little gold card uh, hearts. And here on this card, I simply just layered them one pink, one gold, one pink, one gold. And I think it came out very, very pretty. I added a happy Valentine's Day. This panel here is some gold uh, shimmer paper that I had in my stash. And then I added one flower from those um, value packs of 3D stickers that I introduced a couple of weeks ago and if they are still around I will link them below as well. Happy Valentine's Day. I love these cards. I think this um, with all the different hearts came out so pretty. Here I added an extra pearl uh, that I had in my stash to all the hearts and it is a top folding card. Now here I played around with the die. I did not use the uh, panel around it. So this is just the inside. And you can see here that um, I used this metallic gold uh, cardstock. And I didn't use the die cuts for this one, but little heart stickers that I had in my stash. And they fit in these holes perfectly. Hugs and Kisses, it's uh, from Doodlebuck, an old uh, card making kit from several years ago. And uh, I had this little greeting left over. But these are my three cards and I think these came out really, really pretty. 
and look a little different than what I normally do. So I really love the way they looked and I hope you like them too. On this card, I used uh, strips that I have had, paper strips. So in different length and I added them to a square white card blank. And then at the bottom, I just added a couple of hearts. And this is my heart punch. I punched out again from leftover scraps, added these two hearts, added one of the princess stones and look how beautiful those are. I have these in my shop and I will link them below. They are not adhesive, but um, they are so, so beautiful. They are just cut just like diamonds. I added one sticker from the sticker sheets that I had introduced to you a couple weeks ago and then one butterfly sticker. And isn't this a beautiful card just made from scraps? Now the butterfly stickers come in a five pack in red, gold, blue, silver and green. And you can just remove uh, the butterfly and I just put this butterfly on a little bit of vellum paper here and a fuzzy cut around it but you don't have to and that way it becomes a little dimensional and it sits there and just like it's uh, feeding off this beautiful uh, flower. Uh, with Love is a die that I have and I just um, made a few sentiments. Once I have out my die cutting machine um, and I have the uh, Gemini Junior, I just try to die cut as much as possible because I don't have a craft room. So for me, I have to take out, put back, and once I have it out, I try to die cut. So once I did all the die cutting with my uh, hearts here, I also die cut a few sentiments. And here it is with love. Now, if you don't have paper strips, which I want to believe you do, but let's say you don't, then what you can do is use up other materials. So for this card here, for example, I used an old greeting card. So again, this is a square white card. I like square white cards. If you like them, I will link them below. I have a few in my shop. I like the, um, because you have a lot of room to decorate. So for this particular one, I used a thank you card that I had received from my sister-in-law at one point or another. And it had this beautiful uh, design. I think this is by uh, Laurel Birch, yeah. And it's actually inside, there was a, a panel in here that I took out. So there's an inside beautiful paper and outside even with glitter on it. And I'm gonna use the thank you too, I just haven't yet. So I cut off three of those strips from this beautiful card. I added a punch, a round circle punch with glitter paper and then added one of these beautiful butterflies. These are the silver ones. I also added those on um, vellum paper. Now I'll tell you, they cut out very easily because it is around just like it is embossed. So your scissors basically know where to go because it kind of gives them the guidance. And I think this card came out great. I used a panel that I embossed. So just another piece of white cardstock that I had embossed. And then I added those three panels. And yeah, to offset the butterflies, I gave them a little a circle to sit on, which I punched from glitter paper. Best wishes from my stash, and here it is. And sure enough, I made another card. This also was a greeting card at one point that I cut apart, and I did the same, um, the same trick here. I added the three panels on, um, the three strips on an embossed panel, added three of the heart, hearts that I had punched out. And then these little flowers here, this is also a punch. There's actually two punches I have. So I then stacked those flowers. There's a little bigger one, a little smaller one, and added, of course, the do that bling in the middle. So I really like my punches. 
and um, I use them quite often. If you don't have punches, you can use your dies. Uh, you can always fuzzy cut, but I like the punches. Um, I always have them on hand. I have a little basket full of my punches, and that's what I have always sitting here when I'm crafting. Now, a special friend comes from a hunky dory uh, uh, card making kit. It's a leftover. You know, those of you that have bought these hunky dory um, card making kits know that there are a lot of sentiments in there, more than you would normally use up for your card. So, you always have leftovers. And this is my third card. But I think the most the most exciting part is still to come now. And here it is. I made all these little clusters of embellishments. And what I used is my heart punch, a little bit of a uh, tool, a little bit of whatever you have, really. I had some, and this one here came, I had some uh, old book paper, music paper, everything you have, a little bling. I added it on a piece of cardstock and you recognize this, of course, this came from this card, but it had um, printing on the other side. I mean, um, like the brand print. So I used that as my, as my base and then I layered all these pieces around to those pretty clusters. And this is even a double heart. I added that. So I think these are just so, so satisfying when you make those. And um, this is actually not my own idea. I get my inspiration also off uh, YouTube. And there is a video which I will link by Gina Kerr. And she made these clusters that I put my own spin on it. So... Hers look different and yours will look different. But the idea is hers. So I just want to give credit where credit is due. And I will link her video where she shows you step by step how she made these clusters in her video. And really quick, I'm just going to go through mine so you see how pretty they are. You recognize there are the little hearts that I had punched out. Stickers you have. Here is another butterfly. Uh, doilies tall, anything that you may have in your stash, buttons would be good, little sentiments, but these are, you can make them bigger, so here for example is a bigger piece, you can make them smaller, whatever you have laying around, here's a really small one, see here's a big one, here's a really small one, and what can you do with these? Well, you can add them. You can add them to all of your projects. You could uh, make paper clips out of these. You could add them to your journal. You can add them definitely to cards. You could add them to tags. So there are really a lot of options. You just have to have them laying around and I know the next time will come where you need a little embellishment and you cannot buy embellishments that pretty, right? I mean, look how much is on here and it's all just scraps. Those little stickers here from the sticker sheets. So I have made a couple of cards, of course, where you can see both how it looks on a card and on a tag. So here, I added one of these embellishments to a tag and then I added the tag to the card. So I think this came out really, really pretty. Uh, the panel, I used uh, the die from my heart. So I just didn't use the inner die. So you can see it is the same part, but I didn't have the inner piece. So I like this die. Like I said, I'm going to definitely link it below if you want to invest in it. It is very versatile because it also gives you the panel. Um, yeah, and then here is one of my embellishments. I added a little bit of string there, glitter string, um, cause a lot of um, bling. 
love loving greetings I had in my stash. Yeah, so you can do both. And then I have one more. And here it is. And I think these clusters are just absolutely gorgeous. And they are so much fun to make. I mean, I could have just carried on without eating and drinking because it was a lot of fun and they come together so quickly. I didn't even use hot glue. All I did is I used just uh, liquid glue, whatever you have. Um, the Tombow is pretty good and that's the one I used. I have these also in my store. This is one of my favorite glues. It has the um, fine tip, the pen tip and a broad uh, tip. But this is pretty good glue and um, this does not come apart. So even if you put it in a, this is really sturdy on there. Are you inspired to make something pretty from all your scraps? I hope so. I had a lot of fun making these cards and embellishments from my leftovers from uh, projects. So try it out. It is very, very satisfying. Uh, if you like my cards, I would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and if you would share this video with your crafty friends and family. This is all I have for you today. So thank you so much for spending time with me. Please stay or get well and happy crafting. I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.